Hey guys, we're gonna play some Final Fantasy X Ooh. HD Remaster. Let's go! <laughs> Yay! So, I'm really excited. Final Fantasy X is probably one of my my favorite Final Fantasy games. Is it your not number not one? not my number one? But it's definitely up there, like top three. What's your number one? Uh, nine. Really? Definitely nine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Look at this loading screen. Oh my god. It's kind of taking a while. Yeah, I remember when Final Fantasy, or not Final Fantasy, oh my gosh, PlayStation 3 was like, oh man, the loading time is like instant. No. Yeah. I don't remember it ever being like that. Oh, well, I remember when it when it first came out, it's like, oh man, the PS3 is so amazing. It's like, you know, you can put a bunch together and make a supercomputer. Loading times are like, you know, so fast. I don't I don't think anyone said that the loading times were fast. Oh no, I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that that's what it was back when the PS3 came out. Not really. No, I remember it. No, cuz there's so much more on the discs. It, it was it was one of the it was one of the things. Okay. Oh, God, I love this music. It's Zanarkand? Yeah. I actually love all the music in this game. A lot of the game, a lot of the music in, in Final Fantasy is just really good. Well, a lot of people who play the older games would say that the music is mostly what made it. Yeah, yeah. Yoshitaka Mano, love his art. It's so th this game is just like the pinnacle of what it is to be a Final Fantasy game. You know, That's just a pretty big claim. Well, like <laughs> like into like the new style. Where it wasn't like the old formula. Right. And I think they got this one the most right of the new generation. Mm -hmm. Like, the old generation ended with 9. And then 10 was the first in the new generation. And I still think 10 is the best. Of 12, 13, and well, 15 isn't out yet. So we'll see for that one. But up until this point in time, 10 is the best. I don't know. You should be careful using the word best. Well, just say favorite. It's okay, favorite. fine. It's my favorite. That is one of the things. Everybody always gets, you know, their, the best and their favorite confused. It's my favorite. Like, oh, Final Fantasy VII's the best. No, no, it's no, your favorite. No, no, no. There's a difference. But it, it does look a lot better. It does look better, Than yeah. the original one. Um, it's widescreen for one. <laughs> the eyes, they really redid. Yeah. Like, it's it's a little weird, I think, but it's quite alright. Oh, so beautiful. I love, like, oldie stuff, so, like, the Xanarkin Ruins are, are, like, just, like, my favorite thing in the world. I'm just like, I love these things. What's that Reddit that you follow? Uh, oh, Abandoned Porn. Yeah, Abandoned Porn is amazing. I love uh, urban exploration and, uh, like... The epitome of, like, that sort of stuff is most definitely, um, like, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Chernobyl, I should say. Yeah. Um, Go okay. game. Yeah, we're gonna start a new game. Character advancement selection. Um. Uh-oh. Which? Standard or expert? Um... Isn't, I don't. Isn't the expert one where it's like empty, like there are more empty spaces, and you have to actually put in the stats? I don't know. Oh man, I, what, what do you think was the one that was used in the original ten? Standard. Okay, then let's do standard. All right. Um, I cannot switch this out. What oh, you no. want? <laughs> I you don't may know. regret it. Just may regret it. it. Yeah, let's do it. Go back to the original experience for the game. But, um, yeah. Are we going to mostly skip, um, dialogue and stuff? Um, I don't know. I hadn't really, hadn't really thought about that, but... I don't know that we want to go for the cinematic long play. Just want to play the game. Yeah, I'm just going to play the game. So, if you haven't played Final Fantasy already, then you really should go play it and not be watching this, because <laughs> we're just going to freaking hang out. Um, there's a channel... Pause? Pause. Don't oh. pause it. What's wrong with you? I was trying to skip the cutscene. Uh, Apparently can you, you can't. What if you hit select? Uh, select? Oh, it's select. Oh, wait. No, it's it was just a fade. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Uh, I don't want to listen to your story. This is the big thing. Is like maybe this is chance. my story. It's not this your story. Is my life. My life. How well, do you say his name? Titus. Right. Uh, people get in these arguments over whether his name is Titus or Titus. No, it's Titus. See, here's the thing. His Japanese name is Tita, which would be like Titus, but right. there happens to be this coincidence that it, it sounds like Tide, and this game is focused a lot on water, so people made that like connection with oh, Titus. Oh, I see. So that's I'm... why people like to say Titus, but it's no. it's not really... It's another Aerith Eris thing. Oh, yeah. Where it was like translated poorly. Oh, nope, that just pauses the game still. Um... But, yeah, no, it, it's Titus for me. That's, that's what I always call him. That's what I've always said, too. All these people, he's famous. And then, ooh, mysterious spooky character. We know who it is, though. Yeah, we know who it is. <laughs> Are we going to spoil anything? No, I don't, I don't think we should spoil anything. But, because, you know, that's just, that's just like, you know, because maybe some people have played the game already, mm -hmm. but that they don't really remember. Because, like, I remember that, but other people might not. Well, we played it somewhat recently. I think Did two we really years play it ago? recently? Yeah, two years ago we played through 10. Oh, okay. Um, and maybe, like, three or four years ago we played through 10 too. Maybe. I didn't really like 10 too all that much. It was, it was so hard. Like, it, it got better later on, but... It took a while oh, for it to it take off. Oh, it took so long, to the point where I, like, it was, like, 20 hours after I had slit my wrist, and it started <laughs> getting good. No. I kind of think, like, people don't like the beginning part because it has, like, like funky oh, music. Oh, it's corny. I, like, the music is dumb. Like, it is definitely not good. But... The, I think it's intentional. Warniness. I can't. I can't. I can't forgive it. No, I'm sorry. I really believe that it's intentional because I think like this is Yuna post this game. She's depressed, and this is her putting on her like um, her happy face for the people. Maybe. I mean, so it feels forced. Yes, but and as you go deeper into the game, the music changes. Uh, I don't know. That's what I think. I think that's it, how they. We're trying it's, to convey the emotions. It, it makes sense, but still, like it, it didn't translate into a good gaming experience. No, no. I mean, I loved, I loved ten because mm -hmm. the music was so like beautiful and it was so emotional, and it fit into the game, and it became part of the world. Mm -hmm. Whereas. The Ten Two music was like this ugly tumor that was tacked onto the <laughs> neck of the game, and it just kind of like pulsed with, you know, it's kind of life. Gross. <laughs> graphic imagery for you there, but okay. So you know how people complain about Final Fantasy VIII having a whiny and or a protagonist? Oh my god, he. Titus is like light years more whiny than <laughs> Squall ever was. Right. You know what? I, I I don't really understand that. Like I never ever wait. Hold on. I think this guy has a potion. Um, Someone has something. Somebody has a potion here. I'm gonna find you. Um. Heck, we all were that day. What was I talking about? Oh right. I never thought Squall was whiny so i don't really know where people got that from especially when you know you have like titus he's like the whiniest character in the world like there has never been a final fantasy character that is more whiny I, no i don't know there have been some really whiny characters before i'm trying to think of one but Titus is really the one that stands out, yeah. because he's supposed to be like this main character. I mean, I disagree, I think Yuna is the main character. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree as well. I wonder if they removed the person who had the the potion, because... Or maybe we're remembering incorrectly. No, I'm pretty sure that somebody had a potion, 
but it wouldn't really make sense for you to get a potion and then take it into this is it's illegal. <laughs> the, the next world. <laughs> take it back with you through time. Well, he's not time traveling. Well, no, you're you're right, but still, you you know you know what I mean. Yeah. But also, he's a professional sports ball player. Yeah. It'd be kind of unusual for him to enter the stadium with, like, health potions. He's, like, on recreational drugs. <laughs> Doping. Ah, oh, this part was so cool, though. I remember this was, like, part of the E3 trailer for when the game came out. And this was, like... It still is stunning. It's pretty good, It yeah. looks really good. Especially when you consider that this was early 2000s. Like, yeah. I think they they showed off part of this in, like, 2001. Mm -hmm. Like, it, about a year before the game came out. And, like, a couple years prior, mm -hmm. I mean, like, we had nothing like this. No. This was just... And this was the PlayStation 2! Yep. So, we went from the PlayStation 1 to the PlayStation 2, and we got this. Well, this is why I bought a PS2. Oh, this is absolutely why I bought a PS2. In fact... I purchased all of my PlayStations specifically for the Final Fantasy titles that came out on it. it it's what sold me on the console, except 13. Yeah. We got a PS3 way before 13 came out. And we because we were like, yes, Final Fantasy 13, a new Final Fantasy. And it was like, oh. oh. Really, really regret that decision, mm -hmm. but not really. Um, well, this I is mean, the backwards compatible one. Yeah, this is the backwards compatible one, and that's the only reason why I don't regret it. Mm -hmm. Because the the fact of the matter is, we play more PS2 and PS1 games on our PS3 than we do PS3 games. We don't really have that many. We actually don't really have that many PS3 games. With like the gigantic library of titles in the PS3 world, mm -hmm. we have probably, like, 1% of them. Not even. Not even 1%. We have, like, five games. <laughs> yeah. It's... It's really bad. It's a cool cutscene. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, man. The Xander can get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> uh, the, the water, the physics, everything was just so amazing. The explosions were really good, too. His arm would have been dislocated. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> and it's all, like, backwards and stuff. How would he ever have been able to hold on? No. Well, he didn't. I mean, that's why he fell, but... <laughs> I always wanted to learn more. You know how, like, in Star Trek, they, they keep talking as if the science is real? Right, yeah. I wanted to learn more about, like, the sphere that they play with Bali and Oh, uh, you know, like I, I really would have liked there to be more techno babble about like the stuff like you know about the certain things like that were spheres. in this world like spheres and and how they work and stuff like that i really really wanted to know more there was a little bit like they talked about spheres holding memories or something yeah it's very but... vague but i wanted more of that a lot of yeah it. i wanted a lot more of that too i really like that stuff because it, it adds like like texture into the world it makes it feel more real it it does most definitely but you know like like where was all this water coming from Up like there. are is Can't it you see from right there is it built on a giant lake no and then they just pump water up to run it down the buildings no <laughs> like that cool effect but what like these streams of water like in the background there mm -hmm. what makes those uh, like, is that like a giant high pressure thing of water, or is it magic? See, I don't know. You would think like this is very technological, not super magical. But then we find out that Spirit has a lot of magic in it. Mm -hmm. And when you play Ten Two, you find out that both sides had magic. Right. Um. So even Xanarkand had like summoners. So Tita should be familiar with magic. Right. Yeah. And the reason why I think it's, like, it's either technological or, like, whatever, you know, magical or something like that, and it's not naturally occurring, mm -hmm. is because when you go to Xanarkand, uh, you know, with Yuna, mm -hmm. those things are gone. 
What things? The the things in the background, the, the giant water streams. They're gone. They're not there. They don't even really have buildings and stuff, do they? No, they, I mean, they don't really. It's, it's all ruins. But, you know, I, I always wondered about that. Alright, here we go. First battle. <laughs> giant sin. How far do you want to go? Maybe until um, the transition? Um, yeah, sure. Where your story begins. Yeah. So we'll go that far. Yeah, I think we'll go that far. This, this episode will be a little long, because... It has all the know, intro. It's got all the intros and the explaining and, like, setting up the story and all that stuff, so... You know, we'll... We'll, we'll teach Titus how to use a sword. Is this what the demo was? Um, I th think so? There was a demo, I, wasn't there? I don't actually recall. To be honest, this sequence of the game feels completely different from all of the rest of it. Um, right. So that would be a really misleading sort of tutorial demo. Yeah, but I mean... It's, it's meant to draw contrast, though. Yeah, it's it's close enough. I mean, like, I if, if I were to play this and then play the rest of the game, I wouldn't really feel like... This isn't the same game. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> I was, like, misled or something like that. Right. Though, I must say that the combat in this game is really, really solid. Uh, Turn-based RPGs are probably my favorite kind of RPGs. Mm -hmm. um, and this, especially when you get higher level, is just so much fun because it's never, it's never, easy, it's never too easy to make it boring. But it's never too hard to make it frustrating. It's like, it struck that really good balance between uh, what was challenging and what was fun. Yeah. There's some people who say this game's too easy, but I think that the people who say that are the people who overdevelop their characters and they're like, oh, I'm too powerful, now it's boring. I'm yeah. like, well, you did it to yourself. I can see that. And, but I was always like, I was always... Um, trying to, to get my character like the most stuff, but get through the game like when I was supposed to. You know, I didn't really stick around and like grind oh, right. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I spent a lot of time uh, in this game. The first time I played it through when I had it on the PS2, I spent over a hundred hours on a single file. I mean, that's that's a Final Fantasy standard. Yeah. I spent over a hundred hours, and but see, that was the, that was. Oh, does it want you to overdrive? Oh yeah, it wants me to overdrive. Bushido. Oh god. Do you remember how to do this? It's a key combo. Isn't it? Uh yes, but I absolutely suck at this. Um, everybody gonna be making fun of me in the comments. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh god. Down left. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, first things first. Uh -huh. Um, we really need to get a new. <laughs> Are you gonna blame controller. the controller? Really? No, I'm, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a blame the controller on this because <laughs> this controller sucks. Okay, so oh, it does suck. Yeah, this is this is like a, a Nyko controller. It's wired PS3 controller. Mm -hmm. Um, oh wait, I have TS overdrive. Um, it's it's a wired PS3 controller because the batteries for our wireless ones went dead because yep. that's how long we've had the PS3. The batteries died, um, and they are no good anymore. They spent too long being not charged, um, so I, I really should replace them, because this thing just sucks so much. Can this enemy do anything other than Demi? No, they only do Demi. So you're not in any danger? No, I'm not in any danger at all. <laughs> I just keep attacking it until it dies, and then we party. We do a little dance. Yep. Uh, for those who don't know, Demi is a magic that does a percentage of your health, so it won't kill you. Yeah, it's gravity magic, so it can never kill you all the way. It'll only ever leave you with one HP. Um, so that's this boss is completely this quote unquote it's mini, a mini boss. boss yeah, um, is not threatening at all. I have absolutely nothing to fear from this. Well, it's it's partially to train you at the beginning yeah. of the game. Yeah, it's definitely to train you. This, this, the whole thing for this was to uh, show us how the um, 
the overdrives work. Oh, yay, save! Travel Sphere level 1. I wonder if this is going to have... It doesn't have my my other game. So just do a new one. Yeah, let's do a new save. Do you want to save this down? Yes. Yes. That was pretty fast. Yeah. The the hard drive in this thing is actually is really fast. It just goes whoop. Saves everything. Whoop, so does it. It's the exact noise it makes. Oh, loading screen. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just it's just bad on like the, the big the big cuts. Is Orin your favorite? Orin is definitely my favorite. Um, why? Because he's the strong, silent type. Um, he's not the most silent type. No, no, he's not. In, well, of course, because Kamari is silent. Silent. He <laughs> says, like, three lines throughout the entire thing. Uh -huh. But he doesn't really say all that much, and what he says is kind of, like, to the point. Um, but... He also wields, like, one of the largest weapons. And actually, you would normally think that, um, because I love... My favorite class in all of Final Fantasy is Lancers and Dragoons. Mm -hmm. That I would actually like Kimari more, but I actually like Orin more. Is it his witty sort of... I think it's I think it's kind of like his witty sort of, like, you know, cool, like, he mysterious He has a comeback or some yeah. snarky thing to say. Like, Kimari's cool and stuff, because he has a lance, but um, I, I do like Orin better. Orin is my favorite character. What is Orin's class? He's like a, a knight, right? Um, is he, he a knight? He has all the break abilities. Yeah. So he's a knight. Well, that's the thing, is like, no one in this game is any, like, one class. Well, they have their starting area on the sphere grid. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this thing. So I don't want him to use his ability on me. Um, so he's, yeah, he's definitely, like, knight-ish. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, what else? Well, his overdrive is a little bit different. Yeah. The input thing reminds me more of monks in older games. Mm. Like, oh god, what's his name? Uh, Zell. Zell. Is Zell one, from 8. But I was thinking of from 6. Um, Sobbing, something like that. He uses Blitz. Oh, um, it's the same sort of thing. He's yeah, a monk. yeah, it's the same sort of thing. Um, I mean, I I guess it it definitely makes sense. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of like, uh, what do you want to call it? Like, hmm. interplay between the older games. Like, they definitely want to like make reference to those older games. Um, oh dang it! The thing's gonna attack. Yeah, I thought I was gonna kill it. That's, That's right. Fine. Um. There's definitely some interplay going on with all the games. Here we go. Ooh, later. <laughs> it's like all flaming and, and then that that little explosion brings down that entire building. <laughs> that building was not up to code. <laughs> no, it was not. It's like no wonder this place is in ruins. <laughs> the little little tanker explosion brings down an entire skyscraper. Like, did Orin really think that that was going to bring down the entire building? Or is he just like, oh, yeah, I meant for that to happen. <laughs> That's totally what I was going for. I don't think so. Explosion. He can jump really far. Yeah, he can <laughs> jump like 50 feet. He's a, it's because he's a blitzball player. And then like CG cutscene sequence, like out of nowhere. How'd Orin get up there? I have no idea. But he did. I guess that's what matters. Yay. But I remember that that one of the things that and there's there's a sequence coming in later in the game and I and I'll definitely point this out. Mm -hmm. But the 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 gameplay and the cutscenes were considered to be so close that you couldn't tell the difference between oh one and the other. Yep. But now it's like painfully clear which is which. Right. But when we get later in the game, I'm totally going to point this out because I was totally like, I was like, oh man, this is so cool. Oh, what? I'm playing? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it. It totally happened. Oh god. Yeah. And you guys will, you guys will see it. And it'll be funny because 
I'm, I'm definitely going to point it out, and you're all going to see what a big idiot I was. <laughs> but at the time, it no, was like it was amazing. Like that. yeah. That's what everyone said. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 you. Hey, listen. Oh. My old man. Jekt is a pretty cool. Jekt is a pretty cool character. Yeah, I feel like domestic abuse. Yeah, <laughs> he's a jerk. But. I don't like how Tita says old man every time. Like, oh, that's, yeah. That's not really what people say. They don't say my old man every single time they refer to their dad. Hoji-san. Hoji-san. No. He probably says, like, Oyaji or something in the probably. original. Probably. I thought about a lot of things. This, this sequence right here was Where always, was. like, the worst. Because I, I swear I swam around for, like, the first 15 minutes, like, not even knowing what Sleepy. what to do. I was like, where am I supposed to go? And then it's, like, all the way down, like, in this weird perspective down in the, the lower left-hand corner. That's where you're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So, yeah, I always thought that that sequence was, was really weird. I think it was the camera angle that makes it It was weird. the... The camera angle was terrible. That was definitely one of the, like, rougher parts. What did we just see? I have no idea. It was some sort of, like, flashback. Some sort of intermediary between, you know, this world and that. Mm. Okay, so this is that one temple. I don't mm -hmm. remember the name. Like, uh, Baj? Baj? Yeah. I think it's the Baj Temple. I, I had no idea when I was originally playing the game. I had no idea why I was here. Um, well, that's sort of the point. It's sort of a mystery. It, it was, but, like, I didn't really understand... Like, I was like, what the heck am I doing here? Was this your first RPG? No, this was not my first RPG. But I played this, um, like, right after I started playing RPGs. So my first, um, my first real RPG that I sat down and played all the way through to completion and like really like went completionist on the game was Final Fantasy IX. Um, that was really my first, and this was probably my second major RPG, and I I went totally completionist on this. I got all the things. I got all the celestial weapons. I got all of the. Um, what the other things I don't even know but yeah the Can't oh Makalania there we go words we can't read all bad nope <laughs> nope can't read it <laughs> alright come here Titus so uh, that's gonna be it for this episode hope you guys join us for the next one such a nerd you're a nerd you're a nerd shut up you're a nerd